Hello everyone, Marina Meadows from Miami, Florida, Monday, January 15, 2018, Months 184, Part 1, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Weekend, already half of the first month of the new year 2018, I hope and pray that you are all doing well this time, for me not so, because when the deep state criminals feel threatened, by anyone, your life is definitely in danger. I will explain in the coming days. Well, as our nation celebrates Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. national holiday today, I think we all must reflect on all aspects of his legacy. Implementation and changes of laws was very important for him, but most important for us is the relevance of all his work and how can we apply it in today's society. As his niece Alveda said in a recent interview, America will come together as a nation under God. I think it is us who can bring any change, exposing truth and hold everyone accountable. These first two weeks of January has been hectic in developments, but still not much change has happened. Like, for example, the renewal of the FISA, Section 702 that I spoke uh, before. Now we have six, more, six mo more years. Then we have the proclamation of January as a National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month. But in charge is Steven Mnuchin, and his, tra his trajectory says a lot. Review who he was and who he has been. Then uh, we have uh, the counts of the indictment on Lambert, that he is still at home, not in jail. And the latest, the shadow ban from Twitter, um, from all the outlets, the internet of things, the algorithms, everything that we have been talking for years. And I don't see any immediate response benefiting any of us. On the contrary, many are getting blocked and those of us that have been blocked, now we are more and more restricted. So we will have to continue demanding accountability at all levels. I have been doing, I have been demanding action since 2013. I run for a commission seat in 2014, primarily for that reason. Unfortunately, as long as our free speech continue to be silenced, the true the truth won't be available and without truth there cannot be accountability. The mainstream media actual narrative is to disinform or uninform, promoting fake news, keeping the public in a parallel universe lacking reality that we live in. Same as many on the independent media outlets that are only control opposition. It feels just like grabbing sand, like it's slipping through our fingers. Despite of all efforts from genuine independent media to keep us informed all the time. So I guess for now we need to do our best as we did, as we did last year retweeting, sharing, pushing the truth everywhere as much as we can. Thank you very much, you all, for listening. Hope to see you soon. My love to everyone. Please share and review my pages. Um, um, let's continue, let's continue the struggle. Thank you. Bye-bye.